Hey guys, Will Anderson here. Today we're going to give you the top 10 whole tone patterns for jazz. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And you can also hit the notification bell below if you want to get specific notifications about all of our future videos. We really want to thank our Patreon supporters who help make this channel possible by donating at least $1 per month while receiving perks for being a supporter. But today we're going to talk about the whole tone scale. The whole tone scale is built evenly in whole steps. So what it does is divide one octave evenly into six parts. If you were to take the chromatic scale and list the notes in order from one to 12, one whole tone scale would be the odd numbers and the other whole tone scale would be the even numbers. So as you can see, there's actually only two whole tone scales, which gives you a lot of mileage out of each whole tone scale. The whole tone scale is used all over music. It's in Debussy's compositions. It's also in the famous dream sequence. If we were to take the G whole tone scale, it can be applied on the G7 dominant chord. As you can see, the G whole tone scale has many of the important notes in G7, including B natural, the third, and F natural, the seventh, along with the root, G, the ninth, A, the sharp eleventh, C sharp, and the flat thirteenth, D sharp, or E flat. Since the whole tone scale is symmetrical, this same scale works over A7, B7, C sharp 7, D sharp 7, and F7. Likewise, the second whole tone scale can work over A flat 7, B flat 7, C7, D7, E7, and F sharp 7. So as you can see, this one scale gives you a lot of mileage. Now over the years, I've found 10 different whole tone patterns that are really fun and sound good in jazz. We're going to go through them one by one, and if you visit peterandwillanderson.com, if you go to the solos tab, it has all of these patterns written out the full range of the saxophone. So you're definitely going to want to check that out. Although this scale is used by virtually every jazz musician, a few in particular come to mind who used it very effectively, including Bix Spiderbeck, Duke Ellington, Coleman Hawkins, Thelonious Monk, Bud Powell, and Dizzy Gillespie. When you check out the PDF of the patterns on our website, make sure to follow the articulation because these patterns are designed to be played with a jazz feel and you can apply them to your solos. I'm going to play excerpts from each pattern. So here we go. Number one. <laughs> Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. 
And number 10. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to check out the full PDF on our website. Again, we really wanna thank our Patreon supporters who help support this channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video, and hit the notification bell. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.